good morning and welcome to morning prayer for um, the commemoration of Sarah, Theodora, and Synclitia, Syncletica of Egypt, Desert Mothers from the 4th to 5th century. Um, the, the Wednesday after Christmas 2 uh, from All Saints Church in Washington Courthouse, Ohio. <clears throat> Sarah, Theodora, and Syncletica are the three desert mothers, or amas, whose sayings are included in the 5th century Apophthagmata Patrum, the sayings of the fathers of the desert. Um, the collection includes 47 sayings attributed to these three women. It is related that Amma Sarah lived beside a beautiful river for 60 years, yet never lifted her eyes in distraction from prayer to look at it. She said, If I prayed God that all men should approve of my conduct, I should find myself a penitent at the door of each one, but I shall rather pray that my heart be pure towards all. Monks often came to visit her. On one occasion, some monks came to her claiming to be from the highly regarded community of Cetus, and she offered them a basket of fruit from which they took the rotten fruit and left the good for her to eat. <coughs> um, she then said to them, You are true monks of Cetus. At another time, some elderly monks, considered to be great anchorites, came to see her, hoping to humiliate her and shame her. They came to her and said, Be careful not to become conceited, because great anchorites are coming to see you, a mere woman. Amasera reply, only replied, According to nature, I am a woman, but not according to my thoughts. It is I who am a man, and you who are a woman. Amma Theodora was the wife of a Roman tribune, but after his death retired to the desert to live an ascetic life. She was consulted by many monks for her wisdom on prayer. According to one of her teachings, those who set their minds to pray are often overcome with distraction, depression, faith, faint-heartedness, or headaches. But she relates the story of how one monk, every time he felt too ill to pray, declared, Clearly I am very near death, and so I should get up and pray right now before I die. In this way he resisted temptation. Yet Ama Theodora also stressed that temptations can only be overcome through humil humility rather than through asceticism. For even the demons fast and keep vigil and live in desert places, but they do not have humility. <clears throat> Amma Syncletica lived a life of asceticism in a tomb in Alexandria. She wrote, If you find yourself in a place, do not forsake it to go to another place, for that will harm you a great deal. Just as a bird who abandons the eggs she was sitting on the eggs she was sitting on prevents them from hatching, so a monastic grows cold and her faith dies when she wanders from one place to another. She also taught that it was possible to live a spiritual life within secular society, not only as a monk or a nun. There are many who live in the desert, yet behave as though they were in town, and they are wasting, away, wasting their time. It is possible to be a monastic in one's mind while living in a crowd, and it is also possible for a monastic to live in a crowd amidst her own thoughts. Some interesting bits there. <clears throat> Trying to break the uh, break stereotypes. It's a big part of what the three of them stood for. Is that 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 um, when we when we make stereotypes the rule rather than the norm, so. The idea of, of you know, typically people who live a um, a spiritual life in that time, as they thought of it, lived apart from people, so the typical monk or nun. But that didn't mean that that was the only way. It just meant that it was the most common way. 
So it's the stereotype. Um, it is possible to not be the stereotype and still be the item. The other one about um, who is the man and who is the woman. Not that's that's you know breaking the gender roles of of at that point especially and it's still very true though we have some breaking of that um, the powerful wise person would typically be a man most likely older <coughs> and <clears throat> by saying that in this case she is the man and they are the women is saying that she's actually the one that's holding the wisdom and and they're being foolish because those are the stereotypes that 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 men are wise and women are foolish <clears throat> so she's flipping the gender identities let us prepare for worship Behold, the dwelling of God is with mankind. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be with them, and be their God. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. To us a child is born. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Psalm 110 The Lord said to my the Lord said to my Lord sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool <clears throat> the Lord will send the scepter of your power out of Zion saying rule over your enemies around about you princely state has been yours from the day of your birth in the beauty of holiness have I begotten you like dew from the womb of the morning the Lord has sworn, and will, and he will not recant. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord, who is at your right hand, will smite kings in the day of his wrath. He will rule over the nations. He will heap high the corpses. He will smash heads over the wide earth. He will drink from the brook beside the road. Therefore, he will lift high his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia! To us a child is born. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia! A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus, chapter 6, verses 10 to 20. Finally, being strong, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armor of God, so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. <clears throat> For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, so that you may be able to withstand on the, that evil day and having done everything, to stand firm. Stand, therefore, and fasten the belt of truth around your waist, and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of these, take the shield of faith, <clears throat> with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. To that end, <clears throat> keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Pray also for me, so that when I speak, a message may be given to me, to make, to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly, 
as I must speak. Here ends the reading. The Song of Zechariah Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine upon those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Fix our hearts on you, O God, in pure devotion, that aided by the example of your servants, Sarah, Theodora, and Syncletica, the vain pursuits of this world may have no hold upon us, and that by consuming fire of your, the consuming fire of your spirit, we may be changed into the image and likeness of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the same Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> o God, O Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity, and in all we do direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. God bless you, and I will see you online tomorrow morning. This has been Morning Prayer for the Commemoration of Sarah, Theodora, and Syncletica of Egypt, Desert Mothers, um, from All Saints Church in Washington Courthouse, Ohio. Thank you for joining us.